everyone, happy Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a good time. My name is Jessie if you are new to my channel and today we are going to talk about another holiday collection and this is the Ulta's exclusive Tarte Yes Paint palette, of course from Tarte because it's... Alright, so yeah, if you guys want to know what I think about this product, just go ahead and keep on watching. And of course, like what I always do, I'm going to talk about the box packaging first. So it looks like this. It is very colorful. It reminds me of the later days before, like retro colors. And on the right side of the box, you will see an image on what you were actually going to get. And at the very bottom, it says there the grams of each eyeshadow, which is 1 grams. And then the contour is 2.4 grams. Highlighter, 2.4 grams and as well as the blush and the gloss is 1 ml and the mascara is 3 ml now when you flip it at the back there are ingredients there that you want to take a look at just in case you are allergic to something so this is formulated without parabens mineral oils something that i could not pronounce i don't want to mention that anymore because i'm just gonna sound stupid and it's also cruelty free which is absolutely amazing at the bottom, there is a barcode on the side panel. There is an image on how much you are going to get as well. And then it just says, tardiest paint, blah, blah, blah. So this is what the actual packaging looks like. I'm just putting my hand right there so you guys could imagine how big it is. So it looks like that. So the packaging is actually made of a cloth, a very thick cloth with a texture, kind of like a horizontal texture. As much as I wanted to put this on my display counter, I think I'm just going to keep it inside my drawers because this is just going to collect dust. So if you guys know to yourself that you don't clean your makeup counter every day or clean your, your makeup studio or anything like that, do not display this. I know it's very pretty or display it with the box if you really want to display it. So this is what it looks like when it's open. You are going to get that very large, nice mirror, and these are the shades. Very beautiful. This shade specifically looked like orange, but in reality, it looks brown in person. And uh, what I really like about this palette is that when you look at it horizontally, it's like there are two mattes and two shimmeries, perfect for daytime to nighttime look. I think that they intentionally did that. So you can at least have an idea on how to wear the colors together. But, you know, you can always do freestyle. You can do whatever the shit you want in your life. And uh, yeah, I'm still using natural lighting color. So at the very top, you have your light shades. And then it's going to transition from the darkest shade. I mean, to the darkest shade. So you have here 14 matte shades, 6 pearlized shades, 2 metallic, 2 glittery ones. So this is what the colors look like in natural lighting. I always do this in my videos because this is the closest color that you are going to get in real life. And of course, this is a holiday collection. I already have that mindset that this is not going to be the exact same formula with the tartlets. If you are that person who is aiming for that same quality, like the buttery glides like butter or something like that, very, very insanely pigmented, like you barely touch it, go ahead and buy that instead for Christmas. But for this one, I think this collection is pretty much for those who wanted to have something more affordable and more product. You know, these are companies, of course, they are also trying their best to give, you know, every makeup lover uh, something that they deserve, something very affordable and very fun, very versatile to use, you know what I mean. But of course, this is a company they also need to earn, but I really think that they did their best to cost control it and give it the best price and to tell you guys honestly i think this is worth the price let's not forget the compartment on the side on this one they do have this really nice palette right here which contains one bronzer one blush and one highlighter let me just correct myself it is a contour powder those two are matte ones except for the highlighter dolly very beautiful the design is crazy beautiful i love the work that they did on this palette it is absolutely amazing and one of the things that you will like about this collection is that when you are done with everything you can just take it all out and then you can use it for a jewelry box or whatever box that you want to use it for and looking at this brush i find it high quality it's a little lightweight but i don't know if that matters to you so it is really really soft 
no hair fallouts whatsoever which is great and you have your mascara here which i opened and i thought i broke it i've never i could not remember if i have tried oh no i have not tried any tarte mascaras yet like what i mentioned to you guys i don't really like wearing mascaras because even if i wear one it doesn't look like i have lashes still <laughs> but my favorite right now is from benefit the roller lash but i want to try this one too just to see how um effective this is so i really like the wand for this one i think it is i think this is going to reach the inner corners of the hair in my lashes so it looks like that i really thought i broke this i was like shit i just got this and i broke this what am i gonna tell john ray <laughs> I really like the paint splat design on the handle, I mean the wand, it's really cute. Now I'm gonna get the lip gloss and yeah, I can't get it so I'm just gonna use a spatula right here to get that out. I find it really weird because I think the brush is dirty, I don't know if it's just me, it kinda has like this grayish green color which looks so disgusting but I just ignored that, can you see it? So this is what it looks like. Even if this is just a gloss, I find it very pigmented, which is absolutely nice. It does not have any smell. So that's what the applicator looks like. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but it looks like it was left behind and you know what I mean. So this is what it looks like in natural lighting. Beautiful, like, uh, just so beautiful. I also appreciate the fact that there is a ribbon stopper and it is perfect. I just put it on my table and I can clearly see my face without adjusting myself. I think this is perfectly angled. Now let's start the swatches without further ado. So if you are new to my channel, this is how I normally do the swatches. On this part of my hand, which is the lower part, I have a base there. There is a foundation and I have set it with a loose powder and on this side is just bare skin. This is just something to show you guys how it looks like. And yeah, the half of it, I'm going to do finger swatches and the half I will do brush swatches. I'm gonna start with the very first row, which are the light shades and this is called Reflection. It is absolutely beautiful and it's more beautiful with a base and then you have what you call on display this is more of like a cream matte color and another matte color which is muse this is very very kind of like a very light mauve for me and then you have a white shade called canvas this shade is almost white but not really and then you have set the tone which is a really nice creamy color. And then the last shade on the very top is Have We Met, which is a shade lighter than the Muse one. And this is what it looks like in natural lighting. You can barely see it because it blends on my skin tone. Now moving on to the brush swatches. Of course, I'm going to do the same exact thing in order. And the reason why I'm giving you live swatches is just to prove that I'm not um, kind of like kidding around you know what I mean so you can actually see what the color payoff is so yeah so the very reason I created this channel is because I don't know if you're like me but I do not trust reviews that do not have live swatches because there is an incident that this famous youtuber I'm not gonna mention any names because everybody's going to fucking bash at me and then that's gonna be the end of my career and then <laughs> but not kidding kidding aside um so the swatches that she have shown is very good, very beautiful, and then when I have tried it on myself, I was like, what did she use with this? I mean, I don't get it. I used it alone, I used it without a primer, but it still looks very different. So I was kind of like traumatized because, you know, we all work hard for our money, we don't poop it out. That's why I'm trying to like elaborate every bits and pieces of the product just to expect just to get the expectation of every product but then again you know we are all different and yeah so this is what it looks like for the swatches for a deeper honey beige skin tone 
So on the back of my hand, it's more of like a very ivory skin tone because I have used an ivory um, foundation for that as a base. The visibility of these transition shades actually depends of what skin color that you have. The lighter that you have on your skin tone, I think the only thing that will appear to you is the reflection, muse, and have we met. But if you have a beigey skin tone, it's going to be really hard for you to see all of the colors. Again, transition colors, light colors are very hard to find. They are matte, very hard to see, but I can guarantee to you guys, in my opinion, they glide smoothly. I don't have any problem whatsoever. Moving on to the second row, first shade is Take It Easel, a very light brown shade, and Renaissance Woman, this is a beautiful mauve shade. Third color is Abstract, as you can see. And then the next one is To The Pointillism. And then you have Gilded Gallery, which I think is very pretty. And then you have Stencil. It still looks soft with a white complexion, but if you have a darker skin tone, it's going to look very beautiful and very vibrant. Moving on to the brush swatches again, I'm going to do this in order, and on the top is just bare skin, at the bottom is with a base. Just wanna guys, I wanna remind you guys about that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You know what? It's really nice to wake up hanging out with you guys and appreciate. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos because I feel like we're all hanging out in one place. You know, I know it's kind of cheesy, but you guys are everything to me. Every time that I upload a video and if I see that I have views, it makes me really happy because it makes me feel that like you're there. Aside from this disrespectful dog that is eating my underwear right now. So this is what it looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. This is what it looks like with natural light. So the first shade is Roy GBIV. And then the next shade is Metallic Masterpiece. I'm doing the brush swatches. And then the next shade is Be Original, Be an Original. And then followed by Barrett, B E R E T, and then Sepia, and then Kaleidoscope, kind of like a dark purpley color. So I hope you guys don't mind if I already did the finger swatches back there, just because I wanted to save some memory to my phone. So here again, half of it is with a darker base so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is what the finger swatches and brush swatches looks like, and this is what it looks like with natural lighting. Moving on to the last row, this is Go For Baroque, and then you have Contrast, which is a matte purple color. Beautiful. And then you have Make the Gradient, and then Doodle, this is like an orangey brown color. And then you have Landscape. And then the last shade is Gothic. Can we all agree that the last row is absolutely stunning, beautiful, makes me seriously excited to play with all the colors. And this is what it looks like in natural lighting. Oh my goodness. Without a base, it's seriously popping. So these are my brush swatches for darker skin tone. And this is what it looks like in natural lighting. Why do I talk like that? Ew. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So these are the swatches for the contour, bronzer, and highlighter. I just use my fingers, but later on, we will try this on our face. So for the contour shade, it doesn't really show that much for a darker skin tone. For the blush, it is slightly showing, but the highlighter it looks best. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's blinding. The back of the hand is really smooth. Even if I have tried brush swatches for these babies, it won't stick at all. I'll be trying this on my face in a bit. So I'm starting off by priming my one eye so that we can see the difference with and without a primer. And then after that, I'm going to use the shade Set the Tone for my wash color. For my crease, I am using Sepia first, and then after that, I'm going to top it off with Doodle, which is the shade that you can see right now. 
So far, so good. I don't see any patches at all. And it honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but I find it more blendable without a primer. And look at the part where it doesn't have any primer. It looks very flawless, right? So for my outer V, I'm using contrast. This is a dark matte purple shade. And then after that, on the inner corners of my eye, I will be using the shade Be An Original. On the center of my crease, I'm going to use Gilded Gallery because I find this shade like really pretty. And out of every shade in this palette, this is the most interesting. I find it really interesting. Like the color is kind of like a burnt golden bronze or something like that. Now I am using Canvas and this is the lightest shade in the palette. This is also matte and I absolutely love it. See the huge difference? And then I'm going to use the mascara that is included in the kit. I just want to see how it works. So that is why I'm not going to use any falsies today. I didn't feel any lengthening effect, but in my opinion, I felt like my lashes got a little bit thicker, but not too much. So on the inner corner of my eye, I will be using the highlighter to brighten everything up. I love this highlighter. This highlighter is not a joke. Using Gilded Gallery again, I will put that under my eyes. And then I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. The contour shade that is included in the kit, in my opinion, is literally not for everybody. I have a beige skin tone and it barely shows up on my skin, but it shows up like a natural look. But I wanted something a little bit darker than this because I still feel like I'm an egg. Out of all the blushes that they have in the market, I have no idea why they have chosen this kind of blush. It almost feels like nothing. It doesn't show that much on my skin. This um, contouring a shade all together with the blush. I know right there it looks pink, but when I applied it on my face, I can barely see it. Like, I just want to slap my face to see a little bit of pink and redness in my face. But it's not actually bad when you are creating a very natural look. I love the highlighter in this collection. I think it is very effective and the lip gloss is very pigmented. I didn't do any double dip for this one. This gloss have no smell. So this is the final look that I have created today using this collection. I absolutely love the outcome. So even if the formula of the eyeshadows and the bronzers and the blush in this collection is not the same on what they have in the market, I absolutely love it, especially the eyeshadows, because I really find them long-lasting. I have been wearing it today, and actually it's the end of the day, and it's still on my eyes. And surprisingly, there are no patches at all. Like, none. This is not like the buttery type of eyeshadow, but it is very smooth and it's very easy to blend. And the colors really do show, like, you will be surprised. So I really don't get it why other people gave this like a really bad review. I'm thinking of probably because of their skin tone and they are probably used with the original formula. So that's, that's just how I think of it, okay? So don't get all mad at me. The only thing that did not please me in this collection is the blush and the contour powder. I think the colors are made for light skin, so I think it would be better if the contour shade is a little bit darker because even if I have a beigey skin tone and even if it's a little bit visible in my skin, I think it's not going to benefit everybody as well as the blush. Like, bruh, I just don't understand. Like. Out of all the blush colors in the world, all of the blush colors that you have in the market, why this shade? I mean, it almost does not have any color. Wet n Wild blush is way more better than this. And if personally you find the eyeshadows not pigmented at all, I think it's just an easy fix. Just use the best primer that you have and you are going to be good to go. So that sums it up for today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you are still not part of the Sassy family, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!